Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on Vicuna, which is a new open source chat box. And it is becoming one of the biggest survivors for ChatGPT as well as Bard. So before we get into that video, please check out some of my other videos, guys. I have a lot of content as well as a lot of value. Please like and comment down below what else you want to see. So with that thought, let's get right into it. So what is Vicuna? Well, basically what Vicuna 13B is, it's a new open source chat box and has been de developed to address the lack of training as well as the architecture details in existing large models such as OpenAI's ChatGPT, you have BARD, as well as some of these other things called Alpaca. Now, in existing languages such as these, Vicuna B 13B, however, is designing as well as training to be fine-tuned using Llama, Base model, which is approximately 70,000 user shared conversations shared from sharedgpt.com. This is resulting towards an advanced data set, the primary, like the primary sets, as well as the evaluations of Vicuna 13B are using GTP4 as a judge to show that the achieves 90% of chat GPT quality and this is one of the things that they're promoting as well as some of the things that they're trying to do as a team now the team that focused on releasing this is from members of uc berkeley as well as some of these other big funding as well as universities and they're trying to create as well as the same type of quality as well as a better fine tuning such from such large open models such as chat gpt however in this video we're going to be showing you guys how chat gpt as well as some of these other open source like chat boxes have been basically working towards creating such things like Vicuna. Now in this video, we will like also explore like some of the differences as well as how good Vicuna is. And one of the things that hit me the most is I'll, I'll leave this website in the description below. But one of the things I loved about Vicuna is that the way it is responding as well as creating some of these prompts like in response to what you tell it to do compared to what the other open source language boxes or chat boxes are doing. So in this case, this is Vicuna 13B, the model that they're, they have, as well as the model that you can select it to. So basically they asked the question to both the models and if they both formulated a response based on that prompt. So what you can see and or notice is that from these different prompts, you're able to get a better formulated answer with a lot of details, which is something that you can see with ChatGPT. But Vicuna is doing a lot better in the terms of fine tuning the architecture algorithms to perform it to write better human like sentences. And this is something that you can see. They're basically AI sentences are more uniform, whereas human sentences are more sentences that are followed by smaller or shorter sentences they have a lot of burstiness which is something i talked about in some of my previous videos and you can just see like ChatGPT 3.5 also is really good and it also has a well-defined use as well as like a source with a chat box that is compared to vicuna both have a really good standard detailed response with the same questions that you can ask this is a website you can definitely check out and it has a lot of detailed as well as a lot of evaluations as to some of the categories as well as some of the questionnaires that you ask so you can definitely check this out go through some of the different categories questions to show you the difference in responses that you get obviously there are times where the system is not going to give you the best formulated or articulated responses so that is one thing that you need to keep in mind now there's another thing that i wanted to show you guys is that you can also see this on the website as well. I think they have this on their website. Now, the architecture of Vicuna involves a fine tuning of Llama based models, which is using 70K user shared conversations. So not only has it ha like does it have a good base to formulate these answers, but it also has a lot of data that is set to create this like algorithm as well as the prompts that make the actual responses the research team also improved upon stanford's alpaca's training recipe to optimize to optimize vicuna's performance with several key improvements including the memory optimization the multi-round conversations as well as the cost reductions so one of the good things that i wanted to note is that 
by Kuna has done a really good job in terms of its costing. Now, if you see some of these other models, even ChatGPT, it's not optimized to be performing at the best levels. As well, there's not much data that is prevalent to show that, but some of these other models like Alpaca or Llama have so much usage of memory that takes up a lot of money to actually operate some of these platforms. Whereas Vicuna has a very tiny like margin compared to these other like platforms. So it just goes to show that they've been fine tuning as well as making sure that the responses are becoming a little bit better whereas it is comparable to chat gpt obviously with more optimization as well as more training and better inputs can definitely elevate like vicuna to become better now to train vicuna the research team also collected different conversations as we talked about the team used pytorch fsdp on eight a10 gpus to train vicuna in one day and this is something that you can check out in their training as well as their blog posting on a bit of an overview of what it does. Now, evaluating AI chat box can be challenging tasks as it requires assessing language understandings as well as reasoning and context awareness. To address this, this research team proposed an evaluation framework based off of ChatGPT4. And what it does is it automizes the chat box to perform way more better than compared previously. The framework also consists of eight question categories, including Fermi problems, role play scenarios, coding, math tasks, as well as different other aspects for, to assess the chat box's performance. Now, these are some of the things that I was looking at before, and I definitely recommend that you check it out because you can get a better understanding as well as a better feeling as to what they're trying to accomplish. Now, there's another thing that you can do is I'll leave this link down below to install the chat box locally. I could make another video on this if you guys really like to showing you how I, you can actually like install it on your local drive. And these are some of the websites I can leave this one down below as well as this is something that is sourced off of a server, which you can see how it runs. And that's basically a gist of how it operates and what it's trying to do. So basically, the goal for Vicuna is obviously make this chat box an open source chat box that is better than ChatGPT, obviously, with better responses, more detail, and also working towards training it so that it's less is memory optimized. And that's basically the gist of it, guys. There's more like information on what Vicona does and what they're going to be doing so i'll leave the links down in the description below i hope you found this video helpful if you did please leave a like and subscribe guys it would mean the world to me with that thought guys i'll see you guys next time peace out